Hi, my name is Hannah Kazerski. I'm guest hosting for Manufacturing Tribe TV today. Um, right now, I'm with Brian from Arbor. He's an applications engineer. Uh, everyone knows Arbor. We're at the MDM show and uh, getting a lot of traction here. But uh, Brian, can you tell us some new things that Arbor's working on today? Uh, so some of the stuff that we've been doing recently is really heavily based towards the Industry 4.0 concept in regards to machine connectivity. So as we are working on that, a lot of people have know, know that the K Show is currently going on. So at the K Show, we are currently working on road to digitalization, which is just working truly on machine connectivity. So getting everything connected to ALS, for example, is our Arberg plant management system and making sure all of that is working properly and you're getting proper machine communication to get data back and forth. So seeing anything from your material cushion to your injection pressure every single cycle and getting that onto your server and connecting back and forth as well as getting that connected to us so that we can properly work with you in regards to getting your machine running nicely. So some of the very cool examples that we have used our machine for, we've done anywhere from NPE to K-Show, especially in regards to the connectivity. So one of the ones I specifically worked on, we did it NPE recently, and we connected our Freeformer, which is our additive manufacturing machine that is allowing us to, a lot of people refer to it as 3D printing, but it allows us to build parts and what we were able to do is take parts directly out of our injection molding machine, put them into a Trumpf laser, from there scanning it to put on all our process data. So we have full trackability of all these parts downstream. And from there, utilizing a six-axis robot to put it into our Freeformer and personalize those parts for someone that would be at the show, putting whether it's their name, Arberg is a company, or something in regards to that trade show. Over here we have Liam, who's a sales manager. Liam, can you give us a little bit of a history and just overview on Arberg? Absolutely. Arberg is a German-based company in the Black Forest. Uh, it's formed in 1923. Um, it started making injection molding machines in 1956. And we really believe that we're one of the, the, the forefront of technology. And we're quite unique in the business in the fact that we build our own electronics control systems. So that gives ability to um, support our equipment over several generations of, um, of people. Um, Globally, we have about three and a half thousand uh, employees. And what's very key about Arborg, again, making this part why we're different to other locations, is those 33 locations throughout the world are owned and operated by Arborg. Every sales guy that's in that location, every uh, engineer application uh, uh, engineer there has been to our parent company for training. So wherever you buy a machine from Arborg in the world, you are supported by a local team that has the same training from the parent company in Germany. So that's very unique of uh, what we do. We're very uh, vertically integrated. About 60% of this machine behind us is made in-house. Um, again, that's very unusual nowadays. Most machines are assembled from parts from different suppliers. Arbrook is very, very um, intent on, on controlling its own destiny. So that's why we like to manufacture as much of it in-house. In um, Every year, we actually open that up to sh uh, show people the, uh, our factory. It's called the Technology Days. And there we have about 7,000 people visit the factory and see the whole thing in operation. We don't stop anything. They see the machines being built. And um, again, we, we do it from the ground up, from a little piece of steel all the way up to a finished machine behind you. Um, as you can see in the camera behind you, we also build uh, robots as well. Uh, that's quite unique in the industry where we just don't just supply the machine, also the robot. And that's now moved on to turnkey. So a lot of our customers um, already produce parts, but when they want to automate it, have inspection systems put in, we actually can help them do that now. And a part of the building that you see on the pictures behind you is we're actually expanding that now to allow us to do more turnkey uh, applications. So if a customer wants to come along with a finished part in his hand and says, right, I want to have that from the pellets we make it from to a finished part in a box on its way to the customer, we can do the whole thing. So we're not just a machine manufacturer, we actually uh, cover a lot of different parts of the plastics industry. Awesome, thank you Liam. Thanks for watching guys, and uh, if you like me hosting better than Kyle, uh, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.